What's going on everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to disable the seatbelt chime on your 2019 and newer Ram 1500. This should also work on the 25 and 3500s. As you should see here in a second, the chime is enabled. Yep, there it is. Comes on basically every freaking five seconds. Extremely annoying. Sometimes I hop in the truck, just want to move it to shovel or something and I got to listen to that noise. Now, before people start tearing into me, yes, I do always wear my seatbelt. It's, it's up to you if you want to wear it or not. Um, the whole reason I'm disabling my chime is because there's a lot of times where I'm going like 10 miles an hour or less. Obviously, a seatbelt's not going to do anything for you at that speed. Um, and I'd rather have more mobility uh, being able to turn and look around versus the seatbelt uh, restricting me. So what we're going to do is buckle the seatbelt. And now we're going to hit the start button twice but don't put your foot on the brake you don't want the truck to start you want it just to go um, to accessory and then the run position wait for the seat belt light to go out and then within 10 seconds unhook latch unhook latch unhook latch and hit the ignition again you heard that ding that means it registered what we just did I'm going to start the truck up, foot on the brake, start it, and I'm going to unhook the belt again. So now if I unhook the seatbelt while we're going, the big huge light comes up, it should go out and maybe come on one more time and then it stays out. The little one uh, by the speedometer stays on, but you'll notice there is no chime, so this does work. Also if you want to change it back um, so that it does chime. Uh, you can do the same steps, just uh, you'll have to do it again. And again, when you, when you do the programming, you'll hear the chime letting you know that it did uh, go into, into effect. So Now this trick actually works for all Dodge Ram trucks from 03 up till current. The only difference being if you have a truck that doesn't have the push button start, as where the push button start guys are going to tap it twice to get from accessory to run. If you have a key, you're just going to put your key in click it one, two clicks, do the whole seatbelt hook and unhook thing three times, and then turn the ignition, roll it back all the way off. Um, does the same thing as the whole push button sequence, just a different style ignition. So uh, if you don't have this button, you can still do it. Uh, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.